Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're going to talk about one of the rarest Model A's ever produced in the last year, 1931 Model A A400. Give you all the details in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, a suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today, we're going to talk about a very, very rare car. So you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're going to do a cold start. We're going to do a walk around, give you all the details of this truly remarkable Model A right here. Uh, you can visit all of our inventory at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com. You can watch that 24 hours a day and see what's new, new arrivals. You can see our newest additions. You can see all the current inventory that we have in stock. And it's close to 100 vehicles at this time, ranging all the way from back in the 20s, all the way up in the 70s and beyond. So take a look at our website if you're looking for a classic, a collectible car. But today we're going to talk about what we've discovered to be one of the rarest Model A's ever produced in the sense that, number one, 1931 was the last year of the Model A's. Model A's started in 28, went to 31. They actually made them a couple months longer just because they were in the transition time going from the 31 models to the 32. So there might be a few more Model A's out there. But this was the last new Model A design that they actually introduced. It is a Model A A400. It is a convertible and it's a two door. I mean, it's not, it's very, very special and a unique top arrangement to say the least. But this is one of those cars that I, being an old car guy, I can't remember ever seeing one of these. It is just one of those super rare cars. And it has, a, you know, a, absolutely, they made what, a little over 4,860 some of these models. And that's their best guess. I mean, it, obviously in 1931, records weren't quite as good, but this is one of the rarest Model A that they possibly have. I mean, it is just, it came very special. I mean, again, Model A's, the 31, have a few changes that you see from a 30 to a 31. Uh, you know, the black and uh, grill inserts. I mean, of course, it's got the flying quail on there as well. Uh, the Auga horn is still one of those things that still goes with the Model A's. And you know, the thing for me, Model A's are easy to drive. I mean, you do have to know how to drive a car with a clutch. But you know what? It's got a three-speed on the floor, which is elementary for most of the people who know how to drive a clutch manual transmission. You know, unlike the Model T, which was a little more challenging with their special uh, transmission and all, a lot of people, mm, not quite so comfortable. Model A's are great. It was one of the first old cars I ever got to drive. My dad had a 30 Model A. And I'll never forget, we got to go up to the uh, family uh, reunion deal up in Euclid, Minnesota, where they had their centennial. My dad brought this Model A, threw the keys at me and said, give everybody a ride. And all the people came and I got to talk to all the people and that I haven't ridden in a Model A for 50 years. They are a nice, simple, and I was only a 15 year old kid. So nice, simple automobile for anyone to drive. Beautiful chrome work on this car. Everything has been done. This is what you call a total body off restored. Take a look at all the pictures. Take a look at the engine pictures as well. Beautifully redone uh, engine compartment as it was supposed to be in 1931. And again, 31 was the last of the Model A's. I think they have all the best things. They got the little cowl lights. I like the grill inserts and dark black on the top and bottom. Uh, this particular car, when you ordered it, had several very special things. It only came as a deluxe, and the deluxe had a leather interior in this car, which it absolutely does. You can take a look at that interior as well. And they all came with a, a spare-mounted left wheel well-mounted car on, on, the, on the car. I mean, that was standard for this particular A400 model. Uh, take a look at the inside of this car. It is absolutely beautiful. The wood graining work is done extremely well. What a unique top they have. It's a, it's kind of a convertible, kind of not. I mean, it's, it's one of those cars that is very, very special if you're a Model A person. And again, I had never seen one until we actually got this one in stock in our inventory. But yeah, with that being said, you got beautiful running boards. I mean, the, I always like the black black fenders, the, the correct blue body with the pinstripes that go around the belt line. 
always really, really nice and whatever. Now this is one of the most unique things because when you put the top down, it still has a back window, kind of like, kind of like a cabriolet, but it's, it's again, very special when you put the top down. It's uh, very, uh, you know, not uh, many of, uh, not many of us have ever really ever seen one. Beautiful canvas top as well. I really like that. It's nice. And of course, your air conditioning on these cars was the <clears throat> push out front window that you put out and whatever, and it was done. And it was just, uh, that was your air conditioning in 1931. Take a look at the back of the car, of course, the deluxe. It's got a luggage rack as well because there isn't really a lot of room on the inside for carrying suitcases. So that's why they had the luggage racks that they put on the back of the automobile. Uh, this is also another interesting note. I mean, this is where your mirror was strapped right onto your spare tire. Probably rattles, uh, kind of vibrates a little bit, but you know, it does have the inside rear view mirror and vacuum wipers. So if you get caught in the rain, you do have a wiper, at least on the driver's side. So now you can find all of our stuff on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe. I'm sure you'll find something, uh, more information on this car, many of our current inventory, and cars that we've had in the past. So if you got time when you're cruising through the internet, take a look at those sites. You'll find lots of interesting stuff about our current cars and cars in the past. Well, I guess that with that all being said, I mean, Model A is 1931. The last ones uh, were out there for Ford. The Model A was a, a much big, big hit. Lots of them were on the roads for many, many years. A lot of people relate to these cars. I can't say that I've ever seen this particular one, but if you're a Model A collector, or you like something a little different than anybody else, this would be an absolute wonderful addition for anybody's collection, no matter how big or how small. Maybe you only have one car, wouldn't this be a special car? Now you can come down and take a look at it in person if you like. We are open here at Ellingson Motor Cars on Monday through Friday from 10 until 5, and we are even open on Saturdays 10 to 4. So if you're like me, I like to come down, take a look, and you can really appreciate the quality of this car. And I think you will see that in the video as well when we do the startup and the walk around. It is a very spectacular car. So we thank you for visiting this time and we will see you next time at Ellingson Motor Cars.